Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the blitz game that I played today. Here I was playing as black. My open starts with d4. I respond with c6. Open goes c4. Here I play d5. Uh, now open can trade here but denies and plays knight to c3. I take on the pawn and now open plays a4. Uh, making sure that I cannot play b5 to defend uh, the pawn there. Otherwise, open then can play e4 and then take with the bishop. That's what the idea is. I went with a6 myself. Open goes with knight to f3. I also developed the knight on f6. Here comes bishop to f4. Standard development moves from both the sides. I play e6. Trying to not develop the bishop. Maybe pin the knight. Maybe trade off the dark square bishop as well. Open plays e3. So I went with knight to d5, making sure that if the opponent does take, I'm happy because I can take back with the pawn and my pawn chain will be stronger. If the opponent doesn't take uh, and play something else, I can take the bishop as well, spoiling the opponent's pawn structure. So knight on d5 was nice, open sees that coming, places bishop on g3. Now I take on the knight uh, so that after open does take, here comes queen to a5 attacking the pawn, which can only be saved either by the rook or the queen. Open decides to save with the queen on c2. And now comes b5. Now open cannot take here because lose the rook immediately with a check. Uh, and here open plays uh, bishop to e2, preparing to castle on the king's side. I went with bishop to b7, trying to fend care of the bishop here. Uh, maybe then play pawn forward in the future if, if required. Open castles. And this means that now open can't take with the pawn. And my queen will be attacked. So I will have to take with the queen. Which means my double pawn issue will not be resolved. So I thought okay. Let me move out of the way. Moving queen to d8. Open plays knight to e5. Trying to attack the pawn maybe. Uh, but doesn't do much the knight there. Uh, here I played bishop to d6, uh, attacking the knight. Also the bishop is behind, so I can trade off if the knight just, uh, tries to be tricky there. Uh, now bishop comes to f3, attacking the pawn twice. Although it's defended twice, so it's not a problem to me. I take on the knight first, uh, resolving the issue as well. Noppen cannot even think of uh, doing some tricks. Takes back with the bishop, and here I castle. Open puts bishop onto e4. Now the idea is simple to grab the pawn here. But uh, if I play a move like g6, that weakens up the dark square diagonal. And the bishop is pretty active there. Uh, can be troublesome in the end. Queen can somehow find its way over to maybe h4 and then to h6. And then uh, with checkmating patterns on g7. That is what you have to be careful about once you play g6. So I thought, okay, let me just play the knight. Let me give the pawn. I'm okay. Uh, and I'll attack the bishop. Open takes. I, take, I just move my uh, king here on to h8. Now the problem is uh, if the open uh, allows me to take, uh, that spoils the pawn structure. And then again, I have a move which is g6, which traps the bishop in here. Now bishop uh, taking the h8 pawn was h7 was important and maybe more useful if the opens queen was on the edge file then the discovered check again can come once the bishop moves back but that's not the case here so open tries to save the bishop first attacking my rook and here comes rook to e8 defending because otherwise both the squares are attacked and now open takes on the pawn uh, the threat here is i can just move my knight which will attack the bishop and also the other bishop thanks to the queen on d8 so open takes the pawn first. I take back because the pressure is still there. Open decides to save the light square bishop, offering a trade. I do trade here. Open takes back with the queen. And here comes a knight to f6, attacking the queen and the bishop simultaneously. And both are being saved by queen to e5. Here in this position, I played king g8, just trying to get my king back onto g8, making sure that there's no checks coming from the h5 ever and now i can focus on attacking the bishop because it's only defended once with the queen here comes queen to f4 trying to maintain make some space for bishop maybe and then grabbing the knight uh i go with knight to d5 which is a nice move again hitting the queen and a pawn as well 
queen has to be saved queen goes to g3 i take the pawn and now open thought okay it's a nice idea because the g7 square is weak and it will be tough to defend it once bishop comes on to uh, e5 that is a checkmating pattern happening there and if i play pawn forward then simply open can put the queen on to h3 get it uh, swinging on to h6 and then a checkmate on g7 is possible or maybe on h8 both are possible and defending both of them with the bishop controlling this diagonal would be very tough let's just face it so here open was too eager to play bishop to e5 which is helpful to me as well because open missed that the my that my knight is a vicious knight standing on c3 already here comes a final move of the game which is a fork to the king and the queen and open resigns because after queen goes there's no way that my open stands the chance to get back into the game with thanks to this pass pawns extra queen a lot of material up and that would be an easy end game from there so uh rushing into a checkmating pattern is never a solution the all the bases should have been covered before and i hope you enjoyed the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye